Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm talking to you. Welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. Variety means you never know what you might see when you tune in to the Spice of Life Variety Show. Mm -hmm. We certainly hope that your day or your evening has been quite well. And we want you to know that from our heart to your heart, we love you, love you, love you. Well, Pamela Webb, I am so glad to see you. Dr. Dr. Lewis, how are you today? <laughs> I'm just great. And yourself? I'm doing great. Good. Doing great. Great. You know how I like decorating my hats, right? Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know, you know I like yes, that. Yes, And yes. you told me, what did you tell me to do? That I need to pursue. find out and pursue and to do exactly. what, what I Your call passion. my passion. Exactly. And so guess what we're going to speak about today? What is that? Pursuing your passion. Oh, my. And you know what? I am so excited about this because we have a very special guest with us. Okay. Mrs. Angelique Roberts. All right. And she is a singer who has pursued and is pursuing her passion. Mm -hmm. And so to you, our audience, we want to um, introduce you to a lovely, lovely young lady who is going to just um, mesmerize us with her singing. Her first selection will be t entitled Baby. Baby. B-A-B-Y. <laughs> and so without any further ado, because we're going to come back and really speak with her and talk with her and find out about her passion. But, be but until then, All we're right. going to take it away and let her sing this selection, Baby. Yes. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs>
welcome to it. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> welcome yeah. there, Mrs. Angelique wow. Robert. Thank you so much for having me. I beautiful, it. beautiful, it's good song. to see you. All right, girl. Thank you. You know, you, you know, the Lord wants wow. us to be able to love and sing love kind of balance mm -hmm. to our sweet, sweet loved ones. Huh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Did Absolutely. you write that? I wrote it. Did yes. you? Yes. What I inspired did. you? Any particular? Well, actually, um, this song. Because my, my target audience is 25 and older, okay. so typically they're married and <laughs> okay. have families. And um, I wanted to write a song that really told the history of, of this relationship, the beginning of the relationship, okay. the, the, uh, the springtime of the relationship, mm. as, it, as it, trans, it transcends into summer and fall in the later, mm. later years of one's life. Um, but still remaining in love with each other yes. through all the seasons. Yes, yes. all the seasons. All yes. the seasons, wow. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was just, I, I like that. Awesome. Music, you know, it's just <laughs> <Yes>. sassy. <laughs> <laughs> but it can still be sassy and without curse words. Yeah, right. And, mm -hmm. you know, still be loving and tender. Mm -hmm. and, sassy. Yeah. And, and tasteful. And tasteful. And that's what that was. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was tasteful. very enjoyable. Now, mm -hmm. and then there was a blend. What, what did I, what, what all kind of music did I hear in there? Some jazz? Well, yeah. yes. well I, I coined the phrase neo soul with a touch of funk okay. for my style oh, of music. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, I'm multilingual. Okay. I speak French and Spanish, of oh. course, English. And so I like to incorporate <laughs> that in my, my music as wow. well. Because what did we hear just? French. That okay. was French. Okay. Yes. I, I said, what a minute. Oh, she's yes. speaking a love of language on <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah, I do, it, I do songs in many, many other languages. Spanish, of course, and Portuguese, and Swahili, you know, because um, R&B music still can have an international flair wow. as well. Well, so. excuse us. Yes, excuse how did you? How Ooh. did you ever become multi-language interested? I mean, have you always, as a child, what, did you grow up around it or what? Well, interestingly enough, um, I'm from Northern California. Okay. And when I was about, I'd say, eight years old, they introduced a um, language program to the school that I was going to. You know how California goes right. through experiments. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and so I was able to uh, to learn Spanish. Okay. And so I um, and then when I went on to college, I got my undergraduate degree in um, French and in Spanish, double major. So I continued with it. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah, and since I'm not an interpreter or an, or a diplomat, I figured okay. you know I spent I all these years yeah, in this education. You. I don't you. Use this right. kind of way. <laughs> It's not in vain, see? Because right. my mother was like, what do you mean? You want to be a singer. You went to school for all these years and you want to be a singer? How dare you, huh? You better use that education some kind of way. And so, and oh, so God has wow. given you the wisdom to just sort of entertain. Absolutely. That is, Absolutely. Now, you know, yeah. because you mm. normally, I, I don't hear of, of a blend like that of the mm -hmm. various uh, mm -hmm. languages. And so mm -hmm. that's, you know, that adds another dimension to the depthness of your music. Right. Well, you know where um, an inspiration for that is actually one of our members, Stevie Wonder. Okay. Because you, if you remember back in like the seventies, he did a lot of experimenting with different languages. Oh, okay. Um, sure you remember? Um, um, uh, don't you worry about a thing. Oh, yeah, right. And he has a little uh -huh. bit of Spanish oh, in right, that. Mm -hmm. And Nicolela, which was in Swahili. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he had a couple of songs like that. And I said, that's interesting. Well, my goodness. And it yeah. fits right in. How long have you been oh. singing, my dear? Professionally, I've been singing for about seven years. But really, you know, I'm professionally since I was about four. Oh, the diva. That's when the, I that's was when the, the diva. That was the diva. diva. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. How did you? Uh, how, how did you ever get started? I mean, uh, were, did all of a sudden you were sing, singing around the house and someone pointed out to you you could sing, or how did you? Well, you know, you that's know? An, that's another interesting story because um, my my brother and sister are quite they're much older than me, and they tell me stories now that when I was like two that they would say, okay, we want you to sing a song. And of course, being, you know, too barely able to speak, exactly. I'd say, you know, like, Mary had a little lamb, da 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 and I would create the rest oh, of the really? words to a song. So, so wow. definitely God had a hand in it, because at two years old yeah, or four years old, right. there's, you know, I don't know <laughs> at all. Yeah. Does your brother or sister sing also? No, but they're lovers of music. Okay. They're both lovers mm -hmm. of music. What about your mom? Not at all. Really? <laughs> Not at all. So who else wow. uh, sings in your family? No one. Really? No one, yeah. That's amazing. Do yeah. you also play an instrument or anything? I play piano. Do you really? Poorly, but yes. Well <laughs> enough to write a song. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Do your music. Well, yeah, that's all that's that matters. Right, right, right. You right, right, right. 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 have such a beautiful smile. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been in Southern California? I've been in Southern California, ooh, over 15 years. Really? I've been here a while. Yeah. Really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Is that where your husband also is from? No, he's from Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, he's a Southern boy. <laughs> oh, Southern. <laughs> and how long have you been a Mrs.? 
for 12 years. Isn't that amazing? I know. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So really, the, the latter part of your life, because you've been professional, professionally singing for the mm -hmm. last seven, mm -hmm. the, the Lord's just really have done just some... How, so wonderful things Absolutely. in this season of your life. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. And interestingly enough about my husband, I had, I had prayed for a God-fearing, strong man. And uh, when he came in this package, it was so <laughs> unexpected, you know, from anything I had ever experienced. And um, so then when, when we were married and I said, okay, Lord, you, you brought this man to me. There must be something about him. And he was just the right person at just the right time and just exactly what I prayed for. But sometimes you pray for things, and, and, and when God brings it to you, you say, that's not what I asked for, Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the Lord said, oh, yes, he did. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And so then you go, okay, okay. I guess, I, I guess you're right, Lord. <laughs> And 12 years later, 12 years okay, later yes, yeah, right. yeah, you yeah, smile yeah. and you're reflecting right, on your husband. Right, right. And I know yeah. um, I, when we see the two of you interacting, mm -hmm. and we see that loving uh, yeah. bond that the two of you have. Yeah. That is That's great. True. Now, does he ever try to sing? <gasps> well, he tries. Okay, try. But I say, honey, don't sing. That's okay. <laughs> Stay in your area of professional. Right, don't <laughs> sing, honey, don't <laughs> sing. <laughs> and he says, I'd make a great background singer. I'd say, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> honey, <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm, really not, I'm not going to hire you. No. <laughs> now, you are an indie yes, singer. I'm an indie what, singer. What is that? What that means is that I, I put out my music myself versus having a, a, a record label, mm -hmm. you know, like Capitol Records or Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. I produce the record, I write the songs, 95% of the songs. Um, oh. I put it out on the streets, make sure that it's available to the public. I do everything. So I'm, like my own role. I'm like the, I'm okay. like the record company. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Which has oh. its advantages and disadvantages. Absolutely. Okay, advantages being? The advantages being that um, when, I first, when I put my first CD out, um, and it has different styles of music. Mm -hmm. I'm able to do that okay. without someone saying you're I not allowed. Critique and say something. Well, no, but they'll they'll say you're not allowed to put more than one style of music because then oh. you don't, you know, your 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 um, uh, uh, expertise. No, not not your expertise, but you, you have too many people wanting to listen to your music, and you should ha only have one already one oh. audience, one market, oh, so that when okay. they market to radio, like it can be an R and B song, okay. or it can or be pop, a hip hop or song, or okay. a pop song. Oh, okay, but if you have okay. too many people, it's a fragmented audience, oh. and they're saying that you need to direct your audience. But okay. I did it the way that I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. I sold a lot of records oh my. Mm -hmm. on my own. Okay. So I said, well, maybe I'm onto something. Okay. Maybe maybe oh. they're not always right. Okay. 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 At least it worked for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so we're talking oh. about pursuing your passion. That's exactly what so you did, did, huh? Absolutely. I did what I wanted to do the way I wanted to do it. Mm. Which had to have some fear factors involved. Oh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. But um, because I had throughout most of my career I've had so many people telling me that I needed to look a certain way oh. you needed to be a certain age 17 you know <laughs> oh, if, you were, if you were over 25 you were over the hill and too old and you could forget about mm -mm -mm. it you know and so I said well gee whiz there's a lot of people out there that are over 25 and hello they, you buy, hello. Records. Yeah. they buy records exactly. you know mm -hmm. and so can can music only be available to to people who are under a you know a certain, certain age, age? Uh -huh. And um, and what do those people listen to? Do they listen mm -hmm. to ooh baby baby let's you know? Yeah. I mean, do they do? Does everybody that age want to listen to that kind of music? <laughs> and so I, I do have respect for for the people who who supposedly know everything, but of course. I don't think that I'm that I'm ignorant. Uh -huh. you know? I right. think that I know mm -hmm. a little something. Exactly. And so I was willing to take some chances that no one else would take. Mm. Yeah. Well, so you so stepped out on faith. You most faith. definitely. Faith. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. And, and that was when the Lord said, spoke to me and said, you know, you've been doing things the way everyone else has told you how to do it, mm -hmm. where to do it, why to do it. Why don't you try to do things your way? Wow. And I was truly blessed, mm. truly blessed. How does one get started stepping out, doing it their way, pursuing their passion? That's a real tough one. And, and interestingly enough, I, I have, um, I'm involved in a lot, a lot of organizations for independent acts. And... Um, it's very, very difficult because it involves taking some risks. Mm -hmm. it, it involves believing so wholly in, what you, in yourself and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And many people are intimidated by that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm of the faith that, um, in fact, it was at one of the sermons that said, just 
dip your foot in the pool. Mm -hmm. Just dip your foot, dip mm -hmm. your toe in the pool. Mm -hmm. Take a chance, stand, uh -huh. step out on faith. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to try that this time because everything else I tried hasn't worked. All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. right. All right. Everything else hasn't mm -hmm. worked. Right. Maybe if I uh, if I step out on faith, maybe it might work. And I was blessed because it, it did work. Wow. That's the first time. That's amazing. First time. That's amazing. But then, did you have support? I'm sure you had good support from your husband. Well, I and had, well, I mean, to a to a certain degree, but mm -hmm. there's there's definitely Still, a fear. Uh -huh. There's there's a fear that mm -hmm. things aren't going to work out the way that you hope, the way mm -hmm. that you you wish, the whole the way that you dream. Mm -hmm. And but he said, try it. Uh huh. You mm -hmm. know, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. you're not just a uh, an American singer uh, singing mm -hmm. in the United States. No. Where else has your singing gone and been heard, and where have you performed on stage? <laughs> I've been in uh, Japan, mm. performed in Japan for four months. That was terrific. Wow, I four, go four to, months. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I go to, um, to Europe about four to six times a year. Okay, Yeah. Wow. So I'll be in London in two weeks. Okay. Yeah, you know, performing there. And um, so throughout, throughout um, Europe, London, Paris, Italy, Spain, Germany, a lot of, a lot of European countries, Western European countries, and um, of course, throughout the United States, I do a lot of college, oh. colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, your audience. Wow. What do you, uh, what is similar? Uh, the similar thread throughout those various countries mm -hmm. and audience, and what you might find differently. Well, I would say that my target audience is between twenty-five and say forty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, that leaves us out, Pamela. <laughs> that is. Okay. I thought I was still there. Oh, no, 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 no. That leaves us out. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Oh, thank you very I much. Thank but I'm you. saying, but the target people <laughs> right. that, that typically buy the records are they're amongst that age. They, um, I would say that they listen to diff more than one style of music. Mm. They they they're more adventurous musically. Okay. So they don't limit themselves to, you know, just pop or just rap or just hip hop. Mm -hmm. they, they listen to all different styles, um, all different ethnicities. Okay. Yeah. And um, I would say that they are not necessarily affluent, mm -hmm. um, but uh, they like good music. They, okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right then. You yep. are, and so we've already talked about you being married. You have children. Um, well, not together, but okay. but we're okay. working on it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, you go, girl. You go, girl. Oh my <laughs> that is great. So you do have your 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 children. He has. He has. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yes. I don't know whether or not you had some, uh, small ones or older ones, we're, and you sing traits. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It's forthcoming. Okay. We'll have, we'll have you back in a few years. That's a different story. Yeah. That's a different story. What has been some of your more memorable moments in your career pursuing your passion? I would say the most memorable just happened recently, and I had an opportunity to perform before Parliament. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's that amazing. Was, wow. That was quite fun. I that guess so. Yeah, yeah. And again, mm. you took your bouncing, bright, smiling <laughs> self <laughs> and your music there and just entertained. And there I was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was fun. That was really fun. Mm. So now, yeah. uh, what has been your most disastrous experience? <gasps> oh, la la. <laughs> oh, well, there have been so many of those. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Well, I remember one time being in Japan. And it was at, at Christmas. Okay. And I was in Japan. I was so sad because I wanted to be with my family. Oh, okay. But they mm -hmm. all came down. And okay. that was, that was oh. fun. I'll tell you about the story oh, that we had with that. But that was fun. But I was on stage, and one of the other singers was quite exuberant. And we were doing the bump. Uh -huh. And he bumped me <laughs> straight across the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked me straight into a monitor. <laughs> I fell oh, flat on the floor. Oh, wow. Oh, really? <laughs> this was, I flew. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sight to behold. That was a sight to behold. Yes, oh, yes. Goodness. And then another time I had on really, really high heels and I was trying to be cute. Uh huh. Fell flat on the floor. Oh, my goodness. Right in front of like 10,000 people. Oh, no. You know, and you just kind of get back get up. Because you you pretend like you really tried to do that. I don't know. 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 
that is funny. Yes. Well, we are uh, down to the last few minutes of the show, and so two things I want to happen. I want you to leave us with a thought, okay. and we also want to hear a second selection from you. But okay. what would you leave with us as far as pursuing one's passion? Step out on faith. Step out on faith, and if the Lord has ordained it to happen, mm -hmm. it will happen. Mm. Wow. I really believe that. Mm -hmm. And he will open up those doors. He'll open center. the doors for you, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, then I tell you what, why don't you get in place? Pamela and I will talk because we want to hear uh, the second song. Does, does, does it have a short story, It Could Have Been Love? Does, what was the premise for that? Well, this song is about a love that didn't go quite so well. Okay. Oh, okay. But it, but we all have had those. That's we, right. We've had a couple of those, mm -hmm. and it's just talking about what could have been had we stayed together. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. God bless you. Thank Get you. in place and, and, and you. entertain and, and, and sing your song. We can uh, all relate to that, huh? I guess you can. Huh? It, 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 it could have been love. Oh, goodness. I don't How many want, times? I don't, I don't, I don't want, think about that. I don't that. want to go that far back. Well, then, <laughs> since, since, since we're not in that age of 45, We'll let the feeling just desert us It's not what we did It's what we didn't do that hurt us and There are lovers on the street He treats her all so sweetly And in a rush she gives herself completely You found that perfect one only to discover it can never be. 